Okay, so we've gone through several exercises that you can do before you even put a necklace on. And let's say that now you are ready to wear your necklace for the first time. And what I would suggest that you do is to hold it out in front of you. Feel the gratitude that you have for the necklace. And close your eyes, tune into the gemstones and feel magnetic attraction between the two of you, between yourself and these gemstones. And very reverently bring them around your neck and very slowly and reverently reach around to fasten the clasp. All right, when you have the necklace on, just sense the change, the upliftment, the shifting, the lightness, or whatever it is that you feel with this necklace on. Note how your energy field changes. Note how your heart feels different, your head, how that feels your sense of the space around you, how that feels different, your connection with the earth, how does that feel different? Your heaven connection, how open do you feel? How centered, how grounded? And invite that part of your brain that observes to see if it can put into words what these sensations are. That's a very good exercise to do because it helps your brain learn how to translate the sensations of energies that you feel when working with gemstones into words. And the exercise will actually help you to become more cognizant, more consciously aware of the energies that, that you are feeling. It just teaches the brain to, to recognize them. You might even be able to tune into the energy field of the necklace because as the spheres start radiating their energies throughout your aura, that's palpable. You can actually feel the border of those energies as they, as they start radiating into your field. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. I, I can feel the, the uh, edges of this new um, magnetic field that has entered in, into my, my aura, filled with this gemstone energy. I can actually feel it expanding through my, through my aura. So it's, that's another interesting thing that you can try, too. When you're finished working with a necklace, whether it's just for a few minutes or for an entire day, take a moment to say thank you for the experiences that you've shared together that day. And when you reach around to unclasp the necklace, notice that as soon as the necklace is unclasped, there's a release of energies. There's a release of information. So that everything that that necklace has learned about you, all of the energies that it has collected, they're released. Now this is this is not to say that the necklace doesn't then need a clearing because it could really help to do a spray clearing of your necklace, especially to clear the, the aura of the necklace. But a great deal of that energy and information will be dispersed when you first remove the necklace, especially if you do so consciously. What that means, the benefit of that, is that every time you then wear the necklace, it's going to be able to see you newly. This is something that won't happen if you have a necklace that does not have a clasp, because then every time you take it off, it's still holding the information that it had about you the last time you wore it. Well, ideally we want to be new every day. We want to have grown at least a tiny little bit every day. And if we're able to open up the necklace, next time we put it on, it's seeing us newly. It's helping us to take a step 
in our growth, in our health, in our well-being, from where we are right now to the new level that we would like to achieve, even if it's just a tiny little step. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how you can actually wear a necklace and help its energies to focus on a particular target area.